Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 23rd, 2023. Well, yesterday we ended up with a pretty choppy day with particularly the diamonds showing uh, just throughout the day, wild whipsaws throughout the day, but ended up finishing the day um, a little bit on the bearish side, but no major changes here in the market. Um, as a matter of fact, the SPY and QQQ kind of acted like nothing was happening at all. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's back up buckle up let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here how about we take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today well looking at this chart here in the diamonds clearly we still have this problem we got a little bit of short-term downtrend this constitutes a lower high and that possibility as we start driving down that this could actually create a lower low and as we're looking at this chart we're holding desperately fingernails right into the edge of the cliff holding on there as hard as we can trying to prevent that from failing as a matter of fact when we would shoot down yesterday it seemed to be an institutional um, uh, program that would come in and immediately just drive us right back up in a really quick move uh, creating those whipsaws there seems to be seemed to have been a little bit more of an underlying sell um, in the diamonds yesterday that just wasn't allowed to uh, play out. So watch that carefully here today. Still holding on that downtrend break of support in the support area here in the chart. If the bulls find inspiration today, well, I would suggest a rally off of this support could send us back up into these areas in here to maybe test as we uh, move back higher and of course testing that downtrend area in the chart also would be a possible location where we could find a little bit of price resistance if the bulls find inspiration or bears find inspiration today and we were to break this area of support here which by the way would be a, a break of the 50-day moving average if you saw that we ended up holding right there on the 50-day moving average yesterday if that were to break and fail then our next level down would be down into here and maybe even going as low as testing the tail on uh, that that uh, candle right there if those were to break then um, I think we're going substantially lower which would be a real painful move in the market if that were to occur if we take a look at our spy well SPY just wandered around yesterday really didn't do much of anything very small choppy day of price action but the good news if you are a bull we're holding up here so right now since we've got one day hold I'm going to change this color to green because we are proving to hold up here in that area of the chart and I'm going to get rid of this line and as you can see we've got this line here and we're going to turn this into green as well and let's fatten that up a little bit so we're holding this little upside trend we're holding uh, above that support level so if those bulls find inspiration today let's look for an opportunity that we can push on up see if we can retest that high in the chart remembering if we were to break out of that we've got some upside moves that could start testing some of these levels over here in the chart if the bears find inspiration today then i would look for that possibility that we could push back down below that support area and that possibility of coming back into a level like this and testing that trend seems to be a possibility um so watch that carefully particularly if we get some bad news on debt ceiling negotiations that could create some angst here and then of course the delay in this i don't know if you've uh, picked up on this but just because of the political wrangling and uncertainty in the government um, there is a threat that um, rating agencies may downgrade the u.s um, 
because of that uncertainty. So watch that close. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ, very, very bullish, continuing to hold up here. No worries, no concerns. I'm going to take this line, pull this out of the way, grab this one and push this up here because we have now proven that we can hold um, above this area, at least for the moment we're holding up here. So I'm going to give that up to the bulls. And if we find more bullish inspiration today, well, where could we go? I would say maybe a retest of the highs right over here. And you can see we've got a little bit of resistance right there in the chart to be paying attention to. So watch for that. If the bears were to find inspiration for today, well, then just keep in mind that a, a test of this support level or even a failure of that support level could be possible if those bears were really to engage here today. Then let's take a look at our IWM. IWM, pretty darn um, bullish yesterday, pushing up kind of an inside day here on that. IWM trying to show a little bit of bullishness, breaking back above this area here. But remember, we really haven't had any kind of a pullback test to see whether or not that's going to hold. And of course, this remains um, resistance in the chart. So I'm going to continue to say IWM remains the most bearish of the indexes out here, but it's trying. It's trying to get something going. Let's take a look at our VIX. You know, VIX yesterday was about as frustrating as everything else. We pushed up initially on that initial selling, particularly in the diamonds that really got active there right after the open. And then the bulls came right back in um, with a sweeping move back up, creating quite a whipsaw. So here we are again, locked between these range. We ran up there to that 18 handle and found resistance and pulled back. If the bulls find resistance today, or bulls find inspiration today, then I would look for a retest down in here and possibly even a break if they can get really active. And if the bears find inspiration today, be no reason why we wouldn't retest this up here. And if they really crank up and get in energetic, maybe we pop through that level. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 indicator tells us that, well, with all this wrangling going on, we're still just a little bit above the midline here in the chart. Remember, T2122 doesn't give us direction. It just tells us where those pressure points are when we're overbought or oversold. So what this tells us right now is if the bulls find inspiration, we've got plenty of upside room to move if we can find that inspiration. If the bears find inspiration, well, we've got plenty of downside move as well if um, they are inspired. If we take a look at our T2108, well, T2108 internally, we improved just a little tiny bit on this, but as you can see, we continue to wind in this range bound area in the chart. Little improvement, 45% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, but you know, wasn't a great day. Um, overall, we still remain stuck between um, resistance levels and support levels in, in that uh, chart. And T2107, T2107, very much the same. Little increase yesterday, about 42% of the stocks above their 200-day uh, moving average. We still have this big old inverted head and shoulders pattern looming here in that chart, we continue to remain stuck between resistance levels and support levels. So here again, really no decisions being made here on T2107. If we look at T2101, our momentum indicator, well, here we go again. We're just, every single day, we're just reversing. Chop, 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 chop 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 we're running out of momentum it's kind of understandable that that's the case right now however as we wait on the um, pontificating and, and wrangling in the political environment on a debt ceiling so um, everyone's in a hurry up and wait kind of mode here um, in the market let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar well We've got some data here coming out that we'll want to be paying attention to that could move us. Um, so let's keep an eye on this. We've got um, another Fed speaker coming out. They have been pretty much in sync 
suggesting um, that, well, we could still see more rate increases um, and um, maybe a lean toward uh, pausing this time, but they're not in any way, shape or form saying we're done with the inflation battle here. If we take a look at um, after that, we're going to have P a PMI number coming out. Um, those have been really problematic. Uh, consensus is expecting that to come in at 50, which is a dead flat or stall speed for our PMI. And, you know, as we talk about stagflation, that's not a good situation. And then, of course, um, new home sales expected uh, to come in a little bit less than last time. And Richmond Fed, not a market moving number, but is expected to remain a negative print by consensus. So keep an eye on those numbers here today. We've got a two year bond auction and we've got um, money supply here, which probably won't move the market at all. Then um, as we look forward into Wednesday, kind of keep in mind, we've got those mortgage applications, petroleum status, some bond auctions, another Fed speaker, uh, big surprise there, and a uh, five-year bond auction, and then that FOMC uh, coming out. And sometimes, I don't think we're gonna learn anything more, but sometimes we get that pause or hesitation of the market as we wait for that so don't be surprised if we see another rather choppy day after we get through some of the volatility of this morning and um wait on that fomc of course we're really going to be waiting on the debt ceiling uh, news as well let's take a look at um our earnings calendar for today and our earnings calendar has a little bit more going on on there today we've already heard from Lowe's um, Lowe's kind of disappointed this morning but what we've seen here lately they can report as bad as they want to uh, report and we get buying here's a good example Home Depot worst revenues in 20 years and what happens sold off in the in the open and was immediately bought back up so remarkable um, Lowe's also suggesting guidance uh, being weak looking forward. So watch that one closely. We also heard from uh, Dick Sporting Goods this morning, kind of mixed on that data, but it's trying to uh, trying to move up here just a little bit. We're also going to hear from Alcoa today. We're going to hear from um, AutoZone today. It looks like AutoZone is getting a little bit of a disappointing move here this morning. We've got uh, BJ's wholesale reporting looking a little bit lower. INTC Intel will be after the bell today. Keep an eye on that. We've got Palo Alto reporting today. We're going to hear from Toll Brothers. We're also going to hear from uh, some more retail um, Urban Outfitters, BFC. Oops, VIPS and WSM. So those are the notables for today. So with that, guys, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and also click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment, helps the channel to continue to grow. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in this market. And the reason is, is because we could get news at any moment that there's a debt ceiling um, uh, debt ceiling news that there's either a deal or not a deal and the market react dramatically um, to that news depending on what happens there so watch that closely and then also if we get some of the rating agencies downgrading the US credit situation because of all this wrangling 
of course that could create some really big moves pretty quickly so watch that close now let's take a peek um, at some of these stocks um, if we were to look um, into the tech sector um, amd amd has been unbelievably strong just ripping to the upside even after they disappointed on their earnings report and gap lower this negotiation or this collaboration with microsoft has got uh, on ai boy ai is all a twitter here even though there is i think it's the cinderella period um here of of ai and then we're going to get to some reality here eventually on ai um with the problems and issues that are out there with it but um taking a look here breaking through resistance showing lots of bullishness continuing there's no reason to believe at this point that's not going to continue moving higher taking a look microsoft continues to stretch out broke through some resistance here in the chart just just really crushing it to the upside here. No stopping in Microsoft at the moment, albeit I'll say it's very extended and probably overbought. Right now, there just doesn't seem to be any concern about those kind of things. It's just buy something tech. Uh, doesn't matter the price, doesn't matter the PE ratio, buy it. Um, NVIDIA, NVIDIA continuing to show lots of bullishness here. We had a little teeny tiny rest the last couple of days in here. NVIDIA is going to report uh, tomorrow, um, so pay attention to that. This could have big potential moves. Um, what we've seen here lately, anything that's tech, they buy it right into the earnings report. Just buy it, buy it, buy it right into the earnings report. So watch carefully. There may be some more upside coming in that. And then after that, after earnings, boy, your guess is as good as mine. Very inflated PE ratios. Um, that opportunity that we could reach out here to new 52-week highs on that earnings report certainly does play into the mix. Um, let's take a look at some of the other stocks out here that are looking kind of interesting. How about we take a look at um, some of the things over in the uh, drug area. Um, Merck, take a look at this lower high failure here in Merck. We've got a shoulder, maybe a head, and we could be building a possible shoulder here. And yesterday's rejection up in here in this chart looks to me like the possibility that that could become a short. If this breaks this price support, just keep in mind there's a pretty big opening for that to move if it breaks that price support in the chart. Keep an eye on that. Take a look at um, United Healthcare. I've been talking about United Healthcare as a possible short for a while, and it's certainly playing out to the bearish side, but it's not getting a lot of momentum, kind of like the rest of the market. We failed at this resistance. We kept putting in these wicks up here and uh, finally failed pushing down below that support. And now you can see we've got a few more wicks starting to show up here on those candles. And that possibility that we could move right on down following this trend. So watch that carefully here on UNH. How about we take a look at um, some stocks in that oil sector. Take a look at um, EQT. EQT had an interesting chart pattern here where it just shot up here like like a, just wildly shot up and as you can see broke through this resistance here in the chart so even though as we're seeing that kind of this demand destruction in the oil sector um, oil and gas sector there is um, places where we're starting to see some bullishness return so kind of keep an eye on that EQT rallying up through that resistance this resting pullback in here could set up that next opportunity. Keep an eye on that. Occidental, we got a little bit of life in Occidental when we heard that Warren Buffett was continuing to buy up Occidental. I think he's probably close to 50% ownership in the company now. Um, and uh, breaking that downtrend, and you can see we may have that hope in here that we break that downtrend and we might be holding a higher low in here, seeing a little bit of bullishness coming in um, on that chart. So keep an eye on um, some of those oil sector plays out there. They're starting to come back around. You can even see some of those signs that Exxon Mobil popping up might be trying to put in a little bit of a higher low here. Um, stocks like um, CV, CV, uh, um, 
uh, Chevron not showing us that um, that bullishness yet. So we're going to have to be still a little bit careful and maybe um, be more of a stock picker. Be very careful on the sector or on the stock that you're going to pick up in here because we're still showing that downtrend here. That possibility still exists that Chevron could break that support. So remember, it's kind of a mix of data in here on some of these um, oil sector stocks. Let's take a look at UNG. Something happened here pretty dramatically in UNG. We suddenly shifted to the upside. And by the way, I have a bias in this because I do own UNG. Um, looking for this to rally. And this is just a long-term stock hold idea for me. And um, yesterday, boy, it got hammered hard, pushed all the way back down here in that chart to test the trend. Watch this closely. If this can hold this support area in here, we might still get that um, engagement back to the upside. If this goes uh, the other direction, though, if it starts breaking trend, going to start questioning that position here pretty dramatically. And um, we could even um, make some new lows if we were to break that support there. So watch carefully in UNG, trying to get something going, but just not um, a lot of life in it yet. Take a look at Pfizer. Pfizer had a big bump up yesterday, um, as you can see, breaking this downtrend. So that's one of those things that I look for. We break a downtrend. Now prove to me you can hold a higher low. Maybe I can start looking at Pfizer as an upside opportunity. If that can hold that higher low, maybe start recovering some of this extreme bearishness that we've seen here in this chart really sold off. Uh, might be coming into a little bit of a value play overall. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Be careful, be safe, have a wonderful one, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.